Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to work out numbers before and after with numbers up to 100. So let's begin with our first example. Suppose we have this number 67. 67 and the question says what number comes after 67? So what number comes after 67? Well, it's simple. All you're doing is just counting forwards. By this stage, you should be able to count from 1 to 100, no problem. So what number comes after 67? Well, you can even start at 61 and count forward. You can have 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, those are all the 60s, going up to 70. What number comes after 67? It is 68. 68. And what we're going to do here on the left hand side is work out the number before. So what number comes before 67? Now coming back to this chart over here on the right this is our 67. All we're doing is counting one back. And again, at this stage, you should be able to count forwards and backwards. The number before 67 is 66. It really is that simple. We're going to look at a couple more examples. Suppose this time we have the number 59. 59. And the question is, what number comes after 59? So what number comes after 59? Now the reason why we've brought this up is that those numbers ending in 9, young children have a real problem working out what number comes after it. So what number comes after 59? After 59. What we're going to do here is, on the right hand side, we're just going to write down 58, 59, the number after is 60, 61. So that is the number after 59. It is 60. So let's write that down first. Now we're just going to come back to the numbers on the right. So the number after 59 is 60. Suppose we have the number 69. What number comes after 69? Again, have a close look. The number after 69 is, counting forwards, is 70. The 9 goes to 0, and the 6, you add 1 there. That becomes 7. How about the next one? 79. What number comes after 79? It is, again, put the 0 in. On the left-hand side, you add 1. That's 80. And let's do the next one, 89. What number comes after 89? After 89 is 90. 90. And the last one, 99. I'm sure you know this one. The number after 99 is 100. And it's important that you know all of these. Okay, we're going to work through our last example. Suppose we have the number... 80. So this time we've got the number 80 and we want to work out what number comes before 80. Now like we said you should be able to count forwards and backwards but numbers ending in 0 counting back again young children do have one or two problems with this. So let's work through this. So we've got number 80, we want to work out the number before. What we're going to do is we're going to write down 81 here. Going back one is 80, going backwards is 79 and 78. So the number before 80 is 79. In fact you can count upwards 78, 79, 80, 81. The answer to the question is 79. So the number before 80 is 79. The number before 80 is 79. 
Now let's just work through the others as well. So we've got 80 going back to 79. Let's suppose the number now is 90. What number comes before 90? Have a look at it. The right hand side, the 0, becomes a 9 and we go back one with the 10s. That becomes 8. Suppose we have number 100. What number comes before 100? Again, we just did that here. I'm just going to point it out here. Here we go. The number after 99 was 100. So the number before 100 is 99. Let's just finish this off by doing 70. The number before 70 is 69. And the last one, 60, the number before 60 is 59. Now the numbers before anything that ends in 0, I want you to have a very close look at this and try to remember the numbers that go backwards. And by the same token, any number that ends in 9, work out how it goes forwards and ends in a 0. So work through both of these and try to memorize, well try to learn and then you'll be able to memorize what comes before and after with numbers up to 100.